Hi. Welcome to Inside the End Farm. Good, this is going to be short. We got I, I went to Foss in Paradise, guys. Let's talk about it. How was it? Did you meet Ruby Rod? Yeah, of course he did. He's, I mean, he's like the guy there. Did you meet that deaf uh, actor guy that came in? The, the tentacle lady with the voice that got her chest. Uh, Plava that. Laguna. By the way, Plava Laguna was the director's wife. Um, the, the lady who played Plava Laguna. Yeah. And um, then the director suddenly divorced her right after the movie and married Mila Jovovich. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> that happened, guys! Yeah! Ah, Two dragons. This empire... So Very local brewing ones. company. Okay, ale brewed with Chinese black tea. Ooh, la la. We're, we're going against America right now. I guess it's, it's okay. East meets, meets, it's it's the East Meets West experience. Hey, Amen. One of these dragons should look more American, though. You're welcome. Yeah. Prost. Prost. Let's try a brew then. Like, maybe, because, like, they have this kind of, like, this one looks Asian. Maybe they like, put Trump's head on this one. Mmm. It's nice and smooth. You're welcome. Very smooth. How you doing? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. How you doing? I'm doing great. You well, know, you just got back from Boston. Living the dream. Portion. Living mm-hmm. the dream. Um, you know, what's this been going on, really? I just, uh, you know, we did the, uh, I think we talked about this last one. We, we did the uh, Salt City Comic Con with, with uh, Trots, Trots Boys, Sons, Tim. We, we missed the Tim for the podcast. Um, that's really, mm-hmm. you know, had, had, had a, a nice barbecue grill out on the, uh, on the 4th of July. Oh, we doing 4th? Okay. That was, a, that was a good time. Some, I had to work, but I chicken made some... Came back, got some burgers. leftover barbecue. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. The kids had fun, so that's what mattered. That's what matters. Um, and last weekend, we did the New York Fairy Festival. So, that was... Uh, I heard you were crowned King Fairy. Uh, there is a Queen Fairy. There's no king. Um, what? So... There's no king of the faithful. So, I was Queen Fairy. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no. There is a dragon fairy, though. He's, he's half dragon, half fairy. I feel like that would be a size issue. He's kind of tall, actually. So did the dragon like he has like, bigger wings? Did the guess. dragon like se- sex up the fairy, or was it the other way around? So I th- I've thought about this, and there's no conclusion. Extensively, I didn't want to ask. You should. You should did, next time ask. There was a dude with an incredibly large top hat with lights on. He was the happiest guy there. I was just like, you man. I wish I want when I'm like 20 years down the road just to be that happy. Just to hat not care. And lights. Like, ah. He's like flipping around. It's like doing <laughs> dancing his hat. <laughs> He has like these ribbons on. I'm like, did you say X Man? He's like, he was having fun. I'm like, yes, that was so much fun. I did. Um, hey, and then at uh, Salt City Comics Con, we saw the the person that does the uh, Wizard Fest. Yeah, I got all my stuff in. So we're officially in uh, going to. Uh, you guys get in there now, man. Get in. Uh, and we're officially doing um, the uh, the Chan City and Troy the Steampunk Fair that they have there. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, we're trying to get done with the Wizarding Fest this year. I hope you make it. It was, it was a lot of fun. I think Connor would like it. There's sorting hat. There's a lot of free stuff for kids. There's a lot of cheap stuff. Like they were just giving I out. I definitely stuff. getting into that. Like that. That I don't know if you saw that kooky wizard hat that I had with like the half moon. I was just like this flat. And it's like, hey, we have free hats. Do you want one for your son? I'm like, yeah, awesome. Why like, wouldn't free I? stuff? I would take all the free stuff. Every free thing. Um, <laughs> I don't even care what it is. So like, we have free free uh, tampons. I'm like, sure, yeah. Someone to use them. They're wand shaped. That's weird. I guess, but I guess the one Expect is... Expect double <laughs> No, I don't want to know. Mm. Mm. No. I mean, I would have been the name of the episode if I would have said it, guys. No, it wouldn't. It would have been gross. The gross of the episode. Okay. Uh, I don't have that much either, so let's get into what we got here. Actually, let's vamp more, then, if we don't have a lot of stuff. So we just ate these so, things. They're pretty gross. I, I wouldn't give them a... I just... Because I don't like Red Hots, really. I did taste a little bit of Tabasco. I see. Maybe it's because there was so much... Fake heat that I, I didn't really get the Tabasco mm. I wanted. I don't know, but Jolly Belly, you disappointed us. I had the champagne ones that were pretty good. By the way, just do a whole one with pears, and I would just eat them all the time. The champagne ones, you think you like champagne ones? But you like those Jolly Belly energies, though, right? Uh, I need more of the Sensu beans. Yeah, those are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just actually don't make them anymore. No, they're, they're still around. I just I I, I saw them I somewhere. Just, I forgot where. I can smell a little Tabasco. Um, but uh, I saw them somewhere. And I just did. Oh, uh, it was a Dicks. You saw a bunch of dicks? I saw dicks at dicks, and also I saw sen- the Sensu Beans. They were in like a little yeah, package. Yeah, that makes sense. They were probably like $4 each, so I didn't like, I was like, I Honestly, was they worked really that. well when I was uh, when I was running the half marathon. Like, it was good, because it because I didn't No, it was the goo, Mike. It was the goo. The, the goo. The goo didn't feel as much, but I think it it's the, the goo. goo I had like halfway through the race. Too. Dude, that goo, you don't even know. I it's think like 45 minutes of awesome. I think what would happen is it went into my knee and coated my knee, so like that's like didn't hurt till after I was done with the race, really. I'm like, ah, my knee. Yeah, no, 
My ACL, my MCL. My I straight laid up. <laughs> I straight laid up for a little bit. Um, okay, let's get into what we got now. Uh, we got some things, stuff. Though. I hope so, too. Let's see. I think we do, actually. Look at that. I think we have a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Okay, so um, the ex Bioshock dev, they put out the trailer for their new game called City of Brass. City of Brass, huh? And there's not too much uh, I know about this because it's only like a teaser type trailer, but it had like an Arabian Nights themed city, and your guy that has like it looked like he had a whip and a sword, but it was first well, person. Like Simon Belmont style, almost. Yeah, it was a it was a first person. Um, it had like a very Bioshock feel to the battling and the walking around. It was very quick, had the like, quick motion, and then like. The was there like weird dudes and in the and the Ayn Rand? There was more people. people. There's more people <laughs> than than weird things. And weird creatures. I'm a weird guy yelling! Okay, uh, weird guy yelling, I just have to kill you? Well, it's from the ex Bioshock dev, so I'm, I, they could do this, you know? They could do it, okay? Maybe. That's what I loved about the uh, the, the first Bioshock. Like, everyone just went insane, basically, and they're all just like screaming propaganda at you and <laughs> throwing stuff at you. And, like 1950s. Leave me alone! I'm just walking! I ain't gonna beat you up because I'm crazy! Well, so I don't look that different. I'm like a white dude. I'm not like. <laughs> I'm like a, like, I have Jewish flair on, leave me alone! Well, like, if there's more than one, they're not attacking each other, so it's like, what, why are they attacking me? Do like, smell, do I smell different or something? Like, it's something I should figure out, right? They never explain that part. And then Big Daddy's, fuck those guys. Big Daddy's, uh, put, put that thing in your butthole and... <laughs> <laughs> no! Um... But, uh, yeah, so, okay, show me more, I, I guess. I wasn't a huge Bioshock fan, though, so... The original Bioshock or any Bioshock? Uh, I, I what about it, Infinite? I liked Infinite a little bit, but I was I got lost too much. And in first person especially, everything looks the same to me. I'm just like doing this thing. Like, like I can't see anything, and I can't aim, and I'm, I suck. Yeah, which is why you don't play freaking uh, Overwatch. Who they just... they just did, uh, supposed to be more Injustice. What's they that? just brought out the new character. Well, I, I saw that part of it. I saw um, What a segue. Doomfist. What a segue. Doomfist. He's on the public test server, but I think he might be in the game already. But they're they're definitely the game. Yeah, but they, they just announced that he's on the public test server, but then I saw, oh, he's also available to play, so I don't know if that means he's also in the game. Um, he's their 27th or 28th character now. Um, which is too many characters. There's not. They're all fun. There's, there's, there's a bunch of bow and like, arrow, dude. Except for Hanzo. Hanzo. Roman, Roman man's Hanzo. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Because he does. <laughs> Fuck Hanzo. Uh, Hunter was a little bitch. Um, <laughs> I thought I was laughing when I was, I was just like that. That tracks. Uh, and also, John Cena means Bastion for the record. So if if you're not watching any wrestling there, do get that joke. Otherwise, you will not. Who gets Doomfist then? Doomfist? Well, I I don't know yet because I, I haven't played him enough. Mm -hmm. But ba Bastion is just like he gets beat up real easy, but then he has this awesome Uber move that just murders people. So that's this John Cena. Full. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. You can't see me! You should have a, a taunt where you can do that. And there's. Because Bastion does not just make some really noises. He's like just whistling the shit. Like, he's like Bob McFerrin, basically. But with, with a machine. He turns into a, if Bob McFerrin turns into a Gatling gun, that's Bastion. I think we have a show. Wait up, wait up. I think we just made a show. Like, this sounds like a show to me. I wish you'd play Overwatch. I think you'd like Overwatch. Because it's wacky enough that like even when you lose, you're still have fun. I I just wish I had time to do that. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're finally playing the Secret World Legends now, which is that. I'm level 7. And it feels dude. diff... Not really different. It's exactly the same. No, it's not, it's not exactly no, the same. Because the not. leveling is easier. I don't remember. The it. leveling system is easier. You know, it's, it's not like... It's not like branches where it's like, there's 55 branches! The only I don't remember is, is the building up of your weapons thing. I don't remember that. Well, they did that, but it was, it was j basically just like... Catch as catch can as opposed to like go down this tree skill line. It was like this thing, or and you need this thing and this thing to work together, and then this thing and this thing. And it didn't tell you how to do it, it just would give you like you could do like a template and it would tell you how to get to those things. It'd be like you have to buy all these things to get to here, but now it's just like no, just buy this, yeah, and then you buy this next. I don't remember any of that. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, um, so sure. they, they definitely dumbed it down, yeah. but but the the, the what the, what's awesome about that game is not the stupid combat system and, and the the leveling it's the story is really it, there's a lot of fun stuff in there the voice acting is questionable uh, especially in King's Mouth which is in Massachusetts and is like everyone is just working really hard to do that Massachusetts accent <laughs> they're not doing it well Ooh, I remember, like, working so Jersey? hard is this Jersey? they're working so hard there's, there's a guy uh, Jersey? one of the, the pastors is doing like uh, Massachusetts by way of like like 
the sheriff, noble England. The sheriff is. It sounds like, like Jersey to me, like hundred percent Jersey. I'm like, okay. The the, the best. Cool. The, the best Massachusetts is Andy, the, the guy that the, got his hands on top. He is the best Massachusetts in my life. I'll just start talking to him. So. Hey, now we're going to hey, send you down to this store over here. I'd be like, okay, boom. <laughs> this is not an not attractive accent. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, soon we'll be at a different place, right? I don't know. I, 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 I think the highest level I got was like 12 or I got like level 50 and didn't go that far in the game because there's so much stuff to do in the, in the original game. Which yeah. So I kind of like that they dumped it down so that... Because that's the thing, I got lost. I was where I was just like, I'm, okay, I gotta do all these side quests, and I was like, I was level Skyrim. I was like yeah. top level, and plus they kept giving you bonuses because I was I, I, yeah, uh, I was level forty two of Skyrim and had not done anything. Yeah, right. well, I just like walked around in the caves. Well, and beat plus, stuff plus I was I was uh, a, a um, uh, lifetime subscriber to that, so they kept giving me like, oh, here's fifty AP and fifty SP, and I'm like, okay, cool, and, and so like had all these like awesome weapons, and I'm just like one shotting bosses and stuff, and I'm like, okay. Kind of fun. Well, I guess. move on to the next one. Yes. Now it's the next one. Just gonna super grind everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll move on from that, I guess. We'll move, and I digress. Speaking of video games, Matt, Robert Kirkman's Thief of Thieves is being optioned as a video game. Okay. So, so Robert Kirkman actually, you know, the Walking Dead is his, uh, the property oh, you must want. Well, my favorite property of his is Invincible, uh, which is a very relatable, awesome superhero concept that he did. Um, basically, uh, the, the Invincibles um, premise is that Superman has a kid and then turns evil, and the kid doesn't know that. And so, like, he, he he's like living with this awesome Superman dad for his whole life, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, I was just being Superman to prepare your planet to be taken over by the rest of my people." And, and so then now, son has to the son has to stop him, fight him off. Yeah. Uh, so it's an incredibly interesting co uh, comic. Uh, it, it's actually ending soon because it's gone so long that they've they like went back and he went back in time to like when he first got like found out his dad was an asshole and like it's, it's weird. It, it basically, they're like we're out of storyline, so we're gonna end up Walking Dead is kind of feeling like that yeah. right now too. But, um, but uh, Thief of Thieves is another fun one. This is more of like a like a heist kind of thing. Um, the game, the, the comic follows Conrad Paulson, uh, who is a, um, a master thief and who has a, um, Named protege. Conrad Paulson. Of course, you know, it's Robert Kirkman. Um, Rick Grimes, come on. Uh, the, uh, the, the game follows Celia, who is his protege. Uh, and it's a third person isometric with, a, it looks like there's a lot of sneaking, um, could be fun. It, yeah, it, look, it looks kind of cool. Uh, and, and they have co comic panels drawn in for like the uh, the, the storyline and stuff. So like, if you're talking to someone that has a comic panel with their face, and then like the bubble. Next I like to that the kind of stuff. Actually, that's kind of it's supposed to be. The it looks fun. Panels. Like it's a game that I would buy for like twenty bucks, but I probably wouldn't pay too much for. You know what I'm saying? And I love your Robert Kirkman, love your stuff, but but like the game looked like looked like a great production value, but nothing that I would that that I would be like I don't want to pay sixty bucks for that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll wait till it goes in the bar. Uh, it's by Skybound, which uh, I didn't write down what Skybound's done before. But they had done some. There's stuff. done some stuff. I've yeah. played some of their stuff. I'm you have, you probably else. have, man. Uh, but um, it yeah, was good. I, I'm excited for it. And that's why I wrote it down the list. You played their game. I'm looking at. I'm looking no at Skybound. The Skybound. I'm playing at the Skybound logo. Uh, I'm trying to think what it is. I was. I was, for some reason I was thinking um, Alabama uh, Randy Georgie. Although we will, that, that's a good segue. Thank you. Um, so I found two uh, two different uh, Comic Con night shows. You know, uh, uh, Comic Con has really cool like uh, New York City Comic Con show, or New York City Comic Con. Okay. This New York City um, has uh, a Hello from the Magic Tavern. It's going to be there, and also Epic Rap Battles of History are going to be there. Epic Rap Battles of History. Which I wish we were going this year because that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, we went a couple years ago, and uh, I got to go to. Um, um, the league, a uh, Harmontown taper, which oh. was great. I guess we'll leave too, but uh, oh, but like a after hours, uh, Tim Tim got tickets to uh, Harmontown. We, we went to Harmontown. Cool. So the, I would be really it would be, uh, it was only ten bucks for tickets to Hell of a Magic Tavern too. Um, Epic Rap Battles was expensive. As fuck, it was like thirty five or forty five dollars. So I'm like, jeez. It was like VIP for like a hundred dollars. I'm like, what? What am I getting for VIP? Do do they rap about me? Like what? All right, do I get to battle them? I get to battle yeah. Nice Peter. Uh, Epic Lloyd. Look at that. No? Okay. Um, but it's still... It well, who would you rather battle, though? Epic Lloyd or Nice Peter? Uh, Epic Lloyd, because Nice Peter is fucking savage. He Fuck. murdered you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break your fucking uh, life down. Like, <laughs> how'd you know that about me? break your life down, like, in the nicest way possible? And you like, suck oh. the guy's dick in the third grade. Like, how do you hit me? Oh, what? 
No, that, that's uh, Lloyd is fucking does shit like that. Epi Peter or nice Peter just isn't nice. He just so like so nice is always nice. over the top. But he's just so good at like fucking breaking down. You're like, oh, did you, speaking of, speaking of rap house matches, you hear that Uzo's versus New Day rap battle? Uh, I did hear the one. Uh, the <laughs> yes, I did hear. Yeah. With uh, uh, Wally. Wally. Uh, we won't talk about that later. <laughs> that, that might give us an M rating. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. There, there, there was a couple other ones that I hadn't heard of, but I'd, I'd like to look them up now. Because if they're going to be cool enough to be at New York Comic Con, maybe I'll give them a try. Oh, the, the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought you meant other secret names that you might not know yet. But if I don't want them said, because even if they're said in like a paper bag... A paper bag, if it would open, it could explode, and then, like, a mushroom cloud could envelop us all. We'd all be dead. I don't want that to happen, so, yeah. Jen, please! Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I, obviously, you know, I hate missing Comic-Con, but, okay. I want to get back to something. We've got, we got a couple more years, though, because now with the next, the next little, little cherub on the way, we, we're going to have to, wait until they get a little older first, so. So you're not coming for, like, ten we'll years. We'll all go, time. like, in ten years, Matt. We'll all go together, okay? The whole uh, you should come to Puerto Rico with us in a couple of years. We're going to go. Okay. Sure. You got it, man. Sign us up. We're going... I, think, I want to say like 2020, maybe. I'll be making triple digits by then. 20. Triple digits. Maybe 2021, maybe. But you'll be like eating garbage in a garbage bag, but it's okay because we're in Puerto Rico. We might be all eating garbage in a garbage bag anyway. Well... Some of the people might be eating garbage in a garbage bag. That's what I'm saying. Right the hospital's closing. Uh, 50 receipt! <laughs> Oh, yeah. That looked good. Okay, what do you got? Let's talk about Matt. Two let's more about, let's, let's two talk about what you really wanted to hear about Matt. Jetsons. Tell me what I want. What action I really want. series. Wow. With Will Smith? With Will Smith as George Jetson. No, it's not. Hey, it's me, George <laughs> Jetson. <laughs> hey, ha <laughs> ha. And this is just Jetson as Mr. Spacely. I, I'm all in. I wish. No. I don't know if anyone cast yet, but WB um, is, is optioning this. Jetsons live action series. With writer director Robert Zemeckis as an executive producer. Who wants this? Not everyone wants Who this. Who is asking for this? Also, what channel are they putting this on? Like, CW? This is a worse idea than Avatar sequels. What a, like, who cares about what, this? What channel would this be on? CW. None. None. It's going to be set in 2118. So, it's going to be a free years form. from when it comes out. Free form. It'll be <laughs> on the free form. <laughs> with the Cloak and Dagger series. Uh, with all, and all, all the original cast, uh, except that was one missing. Guess who's missing there? Astro. No, Astro's Rosie. In. Rosie. For some reason, no one has confirmed that Rosie's going to be on the show. I hope it's Rosie O'Donnell. I'm hoping it's going to be like a reunion kind of thing, like the Rosie Rosario thing. Dawson. I just want somebody named Rosie. It's going to be Rosie. If Rosario Dawson was Rosie, I think that'd be great. Sexy ass Rosie. A sexy ass Rosie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Um, I, who wanted this? Like, who was there? Somebody like, hey, I, I, you know, we missed the debt Jetson, so we need a live action version of this. Yeah, guys, Matt makes a million bucks. It's, it's like on the nose of what the culture is looking for right now. Like, we want to look no, towards the future. Not. We want to look away from Donald Trump. That's on, kind of the, that's on the brown eye. Of <laughs> as long as they have space box, I'm cool with it. They couldn't get they couldn't uh, get the Hong Kong Fui rights. I mean, this got to be free. I, underdog, I was thinking personally, but Hong Kong Fui worse. <laughs> Number one super guy, man. But just as racist. <laughs> Ching Chong Bing Bong. No, no. <laughs> Come here, Rick and Yeah, so that's that's all that's it. That's all that's up for them. Robert Zemeckis is still on board because he's like, oh, so for me, me? Let's I'm on board. Let's cast these. Uh, Bob Saget is George Shetson. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I want to see Leah Romini as uh, as Jane. Well, she might be doing the the. She, she, no, she is not. <laughs> she, she is doing this. Oh, go. they replace they replace the wife on that stupid Kevin James show. Like, are they just going to ignore knows it? All where the fuck are they just going to ignore this? Like, I think they're just like she got dumb and we threw her away in the garbage. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to say that. Kevin she got dumb and threw her away in the garbage. How much I hate you. I'm gonna like hashtag all your accounts on this thing. <laughs> It's your piece of shit. You're a piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna go 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Go over to the air so you can see me tell you. The worst part is they like made. Shit. The worst part is like they made it look like it was her. Like she was like, I want to leave, and then she was like, No, they basically just pushed yeah, me they, out. They actually didn't just give me a contract because totally it wasn't as shitty. as... Like she wanted to leave. 
She totally wanted to go. Huh? Probably because Pam James was like, hey, we're going to do more makeouts in the next She must one. have been on her period. Pam James was like, we're going to make out more in the next season. Oh, I'm like, oh, no. No. Kevin James, you're disgusting. <laughs> That's, I don't know if it's weird. Like, Kevin James actually doing that? Are you imagining right now that Kevin James is doing that? I'm st- I imagine yeah, he's having a right half job. Yeah, he's like it's a full out erection. Guys, <laughs> like, it's, not, it's a little orc like. It's like not like full. It's, it's a like sad one. So why, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing this to me? Um, but no, garbage. Let's talk about something. Shut else. up, Kevin James. Besides Kevin James, uh, I have two things left. Oh, um, actually, who, let's let's test the rest of this. Oh, test the rest. Okay, um, Elroy is going to be um, a Jake Lloyd now. <laughs> yeah, but he has to make a little kid voice though. No, well, he probably has. It's not like this. He probably has a little kid voice still, right? Um, he doesn't have an adult. He doesn't have an adult voice. I still like da- Jazzy Jeff as uh, as Mr. Space. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I accept that. Uh, then um, who's the who's the other little who's the girl? Uh, Jane is the wife. Uh, yeah, I don't Jane, know his wife. Who's the other girl? Uh, Christine, blonde. Christine yeah. Applegate as Christine Applegate is her. That's fine. no. We gotta have like a younger person, like uh, um. Uh, one of the uh, Nilo Vertigna. <laughs> yeah, Nilo Vermiglia will be Vince Miglia. Vince, how do you say? It? <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm a lady. My mouth is weird. I'm a pretty lady. This is us. Now he's on This Is Us. I know. Song. It's like I'm on This Is Us now. I'm making fun of God on the It's gonna be like a. It's gonna be like a weird tweener like person. I, I, see, my finger is nowhere near the pulse of the I'm not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I got up and down. Uh, so I'm feeling Mario. Like, like, I'm feeling my 30 or 6 right here, right now. Uh, right here. So, um, okay. I think that's for the best, though, honestly. We shouldn't be like, oh, that little girl from the. Oh, thing. yeah. She's. Uh, oh, from Modern Family, the little girl from that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I know her name, too. It's like, I can't. It's not coming up. It's not coming up. Um, okay, let's move on so, to a better show. Because. Um, uh, have you ever heard of Adi, Adi Shankar? To a better show, and then you say that. Uh, have you ever heard of Adi Shankar? Not the show, the human. Robbie Shankar? The human. No, Adi Shankar. Not on the news. Okay, I Adi Shankar, Shankar. Uh, was the director for Judge Dredd and The Grey. He's actually the youngest director to win the I Academy Award. the Robbie Shankar. The, uh, he's executive producer for some of the Spider-Man. I don't know. He could just be, have the same last name. Racist. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Wonder. We'll ask him when we have him on the show. Yeah. Um, but he just also finished producing the Castlevania show, uh, the anime for Netflix. And now he's getting himself involved in a new show. He's, he's claimed that he is tapped to do a Assassin's Creed anime television show. Oh, for a live Netflix. action TV yeah. show you no, mean? No, like an anime cartoon type show. Uh, which is probably better than live action, to be honest with you, because they can actually do the stuff. What? Like what if a Matt, billion dollars for it? What if they get Michael Fassbender back? If he voices someone, I'll be alright with it. What if he plays a bale of hay that you jump into? <laughs> Ow! His <laughs> head makes hay. Like when you hit him. <laughs> you hit me. Ouch! He makes a <laughs> sound. <like that. laughs> that was Michael Fassbender. He, he he's like uh like uh like Alan Tudyk is a chicken in Moana. You know, he's got like that kind of range. You know. <laughs> Like, you just do that. Matt, I like, think we should isolate these, what you're doing here, and kind of send this into them. Maybe we can get you as a bell head. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, put it, then you, can, you have an IMDb page, right? You have your IMDb page. I can have that on my IMDb yeah. page. Yeah. Play, play scientist number three, play Tim Blake, and play Bill Hay. <laughs> they might be my biggest That's role kind of, yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of moving up. <laughs> right, right, right. my biggest role yet. Um, I actually was, I'm um, also going to be in the new, uh, public safety, um, run, <sighs> fight, hide, hide, fight, as what? Dispatcher Are you run fighter? Dispatcher Rips is fun. They filmed it today, they're like, hey, you're doing this thing, I'm like, I am? And they're like, yeah, you're going to be in this thing, I'm like, okay? <laughs> and so they're like, okay, just say, public safety emergency line, like, where's public your Public safety room? emergency line, where's so your I, emergency I do it, like, three times, and like, now pretend you're typing, so I'm like... Public safety emergency line. Where is your emergency? I could have done this, man. The show you made. You weren't there, though. I, I was. Think I was there. I already talked That's to you. Literally, literally, that was literally the prerequisite for being. I already there. talked to you on the thing, but because I was next to Joe, because our office got moved next to Joe, because we the destroyed our office. How sad did I sound? Just like <sighs> when Joe was like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna get you a gyro." I'm like, I, I, I got it, Joe. Also, I'm gonna get you some chicken and rice. I'm like, Joe, I love you, man. Just 
back the fuck off, please. <laughs> so can you give me a hug? Yeah, no, I'm way man. too strong, man. Come on. <laughs> We're friends, man. We're cool. He will crush you. I just, the big dude. Um, he used to. I, I forgot that he used to work uh, at a residence. That's where he started. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I was your, your neck hired I hired him. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. His last day when I came in, he's like, somebody just gave me a laptop when I was walking out. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, they said they don't need this anymore, and they just gave it to me. I'm like, okay. I don't know if you can keep that, but whatever. I'll okay. like, turn it into me, and then give it to me. I was like, I don't care. Sure. Um, so okay, so yeah. Uh, so this could be a big name on this piece that we might be cool. I mean, he, this Castlevania thing, I, we haven't seen it, it's not out yet. I think it's in August, but it looks really on good. On Netflix, yes. It looks good. So, okay, let's do it. Is, is, is Assassin's Creed thing supposed to be on Netflix, too? That, is, he doesn't say. He just says that he's doing... It might be being optioned, yeah. Yeah, it might be an option type thing. So maybe it's on Hulu. Maybe it's on Amazon. It's not. It's not on Amazon. Maybe it's on Crackle? I please, please put it on Crackle. Or what, there's a Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll's the uh, the anime. That, well, one. that would make sense, yeah, yeah. Uh, as anime goes. Uh, I, that's the only reason I would get Crunchyroll, probably. Maybe. Crunchyroll. You can watch all the DBZ episodes. I don't care enough about all the DBZ. I only watch Super at this point because I, I, I maybe don't maybe episodes. GT, but I, uh, I want to play that like Fighters that. game. But other than that, yeah. Okay, that's, that's all I got on that. I have one last thing, and it's I got a little bit on it. I so have two, that. and I'm going to go with a small one first, Matt. Samuel Jackson, Nick Fury, is confirmed back into the Marvel Universe. Man. He he might be unbreakable. He's like the opposite of Mr. Glass. So so he hasn't been in there since uh, uh, Captain America Civil War. He was kind of like almost dead. And they kind of just like, yeah. he's like, I'm going somewhere. But, now, but he's confirmed I've heard him to be in, in Captain Marvel. I guess. Okay. And, and, and does that mean that he might be in Infinity War or anything like that? He's not been confirmed yet. But he will definitely be in Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, yeah. But does that also connect because Carol Danvers in the past has had a connection to S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of being like an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. like a super powered agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. So do you think that that's going to be a storyline now that they pursue or do you think it's just going to be like Yo, Power, you're going to help us! It won't be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. They, they, no, they, no, 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 not like agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. but like, like okay. Nick Fury being back in charge. I wish that. they I really wish they could get some of these characters involved. They should, or maybe like a secret warrior. Give them a shot in the arm, warrior. even if they got the Inhumans involved in a crossover. I think it would give it a little shot in the arm. But I think like a Carol Danvers or like a Captain America, or somebody showing up on the show once, I think that would do wonders for the show. Are you, are you still excited for Latchaw being in the Inhumans show? No, I'm not. That was for you. That was me. Um, that was me. That was my life. But maybe they'll get Miss Marvel one day. Um, I'm not. No, no, it wasn't. Jeez. <laughs> I'm down for um, that. But, uh... I don't Kamala know. Kamala Khan. No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see uh, Samuel L. Jackson getting more money. He needs that, so... If I need some money! I owe some gambling debts! Like, something like that. I need another gold car! I don't know. I'm rich. Uh, but, um... I'm still more... I'm, I, I, I put Captain Marvel back in my radar and I liked it. Because I really... I, I'm excited for Brie Larson. They need to put it back on the radar because I think they're doing what happened to Wonder Woman, which luckily Wonder Woman recovered... But very much so. They didn't have like the advertisers like, nah, we're gonna forget about. It. So well, like, they just need a, a month. They before. need a movie to put it in, and they need footage to put in the in that movie still. So I, I think well, that's part of the problem. They can tag. They got a couple. The reason Wonder, Wonder Woman took so long is because they had to redo the entire story. Remember that they had to rewrite the entire oh, story. Speaking of which, and I don't have this on my list. Oh, um, uh, oh. they are redoing. Um, oh jeez. No, I should. Justice League. This. The Justice League. Oh no, I should have put my list. Never mind. I can't remember. They're redoing one of the movies, though. They, they have to redo, like, the whole movie. Well, Batman's getting redone. It's not Batman, though. Shit. Was it, was a, it, was a, it was a movie that, we, that was on our radar, too, and I forgot. I should look it up. Uh, oh, next week, guys. I'll Valerian. Up. No, Valerian's all done. I don't know why. I don't know what this movie's about. I don't want to watch that. It could be, hot. like, a fifth element. Maybe it's, like, a fifth element type movie. That's the only thing that's, like, kind of getting me intrigued about it. Yeah, that's why that's I like it. It's from, the, it's from Luke Besson, the guy that did... Fifth yeah, element. it's giving me like a fifth element vibe, but at the same time, like, what the hell? It is also this it also has a rich comic source material, unlike okay. uh, Fifth Element, where he's like, I'm literally pulling this out of my ass. Yeah, so, but uh, he did a good job pulling out his ass. Well, he though. did, he I mean, did, but like, that's lighting in a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, sure. to, he, Luke, what has Luke Besson done since then that you remember? Exactly. Uh, so, so, so right in this movie, like, like I think I think him working on Valerian is a good thing because it's a great source material that that you know is beloved by a lot of people. That's got Dane DeHaan and Mike Dane and Cara Delevingne. She was in she was in Suicide Squad. What could go wrong? Your favorite character. 
the character we all loved in that movie. I, I think out of the characters, I actually liked her less than Slipknot. <laughs> and he no, died. So, spoiler. Like a mother. He mother. died. Like, he's like, I'm gonna go, I'm dead. And you're like, what? No, why? Like, and was, like, this badass character. But I was like, at least this Slipknot thing. went out on his own steam. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like, oh, I'm, fine. I'm dead. That's cool. My head exploded. My head exploded. I'm gonna run. This is gonna be smart. I'm just here to show you that there's things in our heads. See that? But honestly, that was one of the only good parts of the movie because it showed how much of a dick Captain Boomerang is, which is how that's supposed to be. That was Captain that's Boomerang you. was the one was of the day. Captain Boomerang and and Harley Quinn were the only two characters that got correct, in my opinion. And I actually liked uh, I liked Will Smith's character. Uh, I liked Deadshot. Deadshot. But I did not give him correct. Huh? No. Rick Flag. No. I don't even know what his character was. Just, I don't, I, they might have gotten him cracked. He's yeah. such a piece of dry toast. I'm a board, not a wall. Okay, that makes hey, sense. Hey, guys, we have to get together and do this. My name is Flag, but has two Gs. I could be reading <laughs> off a cue card. Who knows? Flag like American flag. No, we got it, dude. We got it. We have it. Okay. We're, we're just going to... We're going to go now. Um, okay, your last thing? let's get to my last thing because it's juicy. Fantastic Beast 2. Some okay, good. I'm glad you're before details. this. sucks. Plot details, Mike. I, okay. I, I looked at this and I was like, yeah, we're you Shut your mouth and you listen. <laughs> For once, Hey, shut your I'm mouth. a nomad! It's me! Stop, oh, no stress! Stop playing with your nomad and listen to this, okay? Uh, okay, so Fantastic Beast plot details. There was a couple of plot things they posted in the... Uh, um, Wait, did they have the plot for the first one in there, too? No, because there's no plot. don't. There's no fucking plot. Shut up! Okay, 1927, a few months after the events of the the end of the movie, um, Grindelwald has obviously escaped because... This is not very simple. He's, he's, he's Voldemort Light. Um, oof, oof. And he gets oof. he gets followers. Maybe some kind of, like... Maybe some kind of death-eating type group? Maybe? Death Stranding. They're, maybe they're called Death Stranding. I hope so. They deserve that. <laughs> what does that mean? We don't know. There's babies and It's when people... It's, I was friends as Hideo Kojima would. It's when you die, and then you're stranding, and it's death. It's like, what? 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 No, what, what you said made sense, you dude. Say? Hey, dog, no, what you said Did made sense. Did I miss the translation for that? <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, tell me more plot okay, details, Okay, so please. plot details. Well, I'm going to read it actually from the plot right, well, Okay, why you going to massage my, massage my temples? Okay. Um, it says, The wizard, Gerlert Grindelwald, Johnny Depp. Grindelwald has since escaped and amassed his followers uh, for his... To his pro wizard and non magical being cause. Okay, the only one who might be able to stop them is the wizard he once called his dearest friend. Albus Dumbledore. Potter. Oh. Yeah, Albus Dumbledore. Um, Dunder- Was that right? <laughs> Albus Dumbledore. Yeah! Played by Jude Law. What? Okay. They're gonna give Jude Law some, like, ton of FaceTime in this moment. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, that's how the plot description reads says, but Dumbledore needs. We'll need help from the wizard Wait. who thwarted Grind- Grindelwald once before. So this is after they fought? former new commander. This is after they had said? Yes. You don't get to oh, see before that. before they... Oh. They'll probably have a couple scenes where they get close to like, I miss you, Benny. Yeah. miss you, Sid. Oh, it's like... Maybe they try to... Maybe they're like kissing through glass like in that scene of Master of None. Oh, like that. Oh. Um, it's like, no, I can eat. I thought I could not Like that. Okay. We're, we're writing this. Maybe the wands get locked this. together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just like before. Oh, yeah. Just like before. Um, sex hacks. Okay, no, let me read this, jerk. Uh, <laughs> but he will get help from the guy who thwarted him once before, hardly, sort of. Uh, his former student, Newt Scrimander. Yeah, by mistake, basically. Yeah, like, right? He didn't... What? Okay. Come on. Um, the adventure reunites Newt with Tina, Queenie, and Jacob. Now, this is interesting, because Jacob was brain brain pain washed away yeah. at home. So he's gonna be that, it's gonna be one of it's gonna be like uh, like like a uh, doc and, and oh Marty we need you to get back in the time machine like okay well, it's like, but I was making pastries <laughs> yeah. I have a New York accent obviously nomad is oh, uh, I don't even know what a nomad is I forgot uh, but but his mission will also test their loyalties as they face new perils in an increasingly dangerous <sighs> and divided wizarding world. So this is a second out of five movies, by the way. Two out of five. This is... I'm already exhausted. Me. It's meaty as fuck. I'm exhausted. Okay, so this Oof. movie comes out November 18th, 2018. Uh, it's going to be Jude Law Oof. versus Johnny Depp, though. I don't know. Like, I feel like they're trying to say New Scamander is going to be a main character in this, but to make it work, you need Albus Dumbledore really to be like the most important character in it. I don't know. I feel like you do. 
right? No. Or maybe it's Gellert Grindelwald's the most important character, but it's not New Scamander. He's gonna be like doing his de- <laughs> this way. Talk to animals. <laughs> maybe maybe they learn that like, Eddie Redmayne is a fucking hack. <laughs> okay, Mike. This is the best role any I've ever seen him in. Um, hello, Matt. Let's mention any other role. No, let's not. As I want to Jupiter Sentinel. Jupiter Sentinel. I just Jupiter Sentinel. That's the best. Oh. That's his best role, right there. So bad. I'm talking loud. I'm talking, I'm talking loud. loud. I need a scream. I need to talk like this. Like, oh, okay. Is that like a weird alien tick? No, you know, I don't. Like, aliens I don't, just, like, I don't know what's going on alien talk. My time is up for yelling. No, I have to whisper again. Okay, hold on. Like, and none of what you're saying has any importance. I don't care about any of it. Yeah, they could have just like cut. I bet there's a cut where his role's not in there, and it's the same movie. It's probably better because yeah, you know it's like just um, more yeah. more wolf human guy, more wolf human alien. We're gonna see Spider-Man Homecoming on Monday, right? Monday. Yeah. Good. Just making sure. Do you want me to get? I'll get tickets for nine thirty. We're gonna review it. Do it. Nine thirty. Do it. Do it. You can get breakfast for us at do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, that's all I got. What do you got? Yeah, one last thing, right? One last thing, man. Luke Cage Luke season two. Cage. Got some villains! Luke Cage. So we're going to talk about some awesome villains. Some villains. Two, two big villains. The top. Uh, so first off, we have well, two, two, the actors playing are Mustafa mm-hmm. Shakir yep. and Gabriel Dennis. I don't know. I can't tell you who he's been in. He's been in stuff. I, I should have wrote down. His face is very like... Mustafa Shakir stuff. will play John McIver, who's described as a charismatic leader whose mission is focused on Harlem and vengeance. And his name will be... And Black so, so in, in, in the comics, it's even better than this, Matt. In the comics, Matt, he's his terrible villain. His villain name is Bushmaster. Ooh, nice. <sighs> yes. Yeah, ladies. You got it. Um, I think it's supposed to be a more of a racist reference than a sexual reference. But maybe. And you never know. Fine. I mean, it's Netflix. They can do adult stuff. Yeah, but this is Marvel Comics as well before this. Uh, so so basically, I feel like he's gonna be at least not black bushmaster. But the other the other villain played by Gabrielle Den- Ga- Gabriel Dennis is it? She's playing a holistic doctor named Tilda Johnson, oh, aka Jane. known as Nightshade oh. in the comics. No, those are snakes. So, but I feel like yeah, there's no snakes this time, man. It's, it's I wanted there to be no snakes. It's someone who's a master of can, the vagina. And, can Uma Thurman be black? Nightshade. Mother? But the thing is, can well, I the deadly ha- as vipers has? Well, what I like, Matt. Speaking of vipers, Matt. Speaking of vipers, what I like is nightshade is is a common poison. So, so possibly nightshade will poison. I, I feel like there's gonna be a plot there where Luke Cage gets poisoned. Now I'm it. human again. You could beat me up again. Yeah. Remember that when we did this one? Maybe they'll boil me for like three boil episodes. Boil me in acid again. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. oh boy. Spoilers, I guess. Just season one of that. No, you should uh, see it. So, so I, I put Luke Cage is definitely getting poisoned. Yeah, he's getting poisoned. Definitely getting poisoned. Uh, Misty Knight and uh, Miss, Missy and the Night Nurse. Missy Knight and Night Nurse. Yeah, Misty Night Nurse. Yeah, they could be like one, like that. Uh, are both going to be back definitely as many as well as many other supporting cast members. Um, I'm still I'm a lot of people got they're like hey put night in the name because they're black. It's like Stanley, Jimmy, give me a break here. <laughs> stop, dude. <laughs> Just stop, man. Make that last name night. You're like, oh, oh, all right. Let's call him Bushmaster. No. I we'll call the other one Man Digger. Like, no, no, no. That's the wrong thing. Jeez, you can't do that. Stop oh, it. No. Nightshade, because she's also black. Because oh. Night. There's three people with Night in that name in this. <laughs> well, the, the, their comic names may not come into play, just like, uh, you know. Well, yeah. Night never, nobody's ever called her Night Nurse. They, just like, like Cottonmouth didn't only came to play that one scene where they're like, let's Easter egg it. They used like, to call you Cottonmouth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Roll credits. What's <laughs> your dick? Like, Ham Fister. Easter egg. There's an Easter egg here, guys. I like guys. Than head. God damn it. <laughs> like, look, I'm wearing a mask and snake skin suit. I like this, this helmet that's kind of like copper, I guess. I'm also like the fake candy copper man. Head. Like, not even like the cool, like, like not even the guy that plays candy man. I'm just like an idiot that is like fake They candy. couldn't get him. <laughs> he said he was not going to be in this embarrassing Okay, so, so guys, watch... Luke Cage shall have said eight, and then just drop it, because it's not worth it after that. No, it's worth it. It's not it's worth it. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. We change villains for no reason. Why? Luke Cage, he's a, he's a good character. I mean, that's why I can't wait for Defenders. I still have to watch, I, we still, still have to watch Iron Fist. Danny, Danny, it's me, yeah, Danny. Exactly. He was scared. Oh, I don't know who that is. I didn't watch Dad. Oh. No, not his dad. I was it's thinking Dad's pocket. I thought you were doing a purple band. No. Impression, actually. That's my farm, yeah. Jessica. Danny. Jessica. See, that was a good book. Yeah. He was menacing. Also the worst. Not though. there. 
Yeah, because he's a rapey villain. Yeah, that's always a... Like, thing. I just rape everyone. I just control your mind and make you do weird stuff to my penis. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm also purple and no one notices in the comics. I'm a purple dude. And they're just like, yeah, it's cool. This is my, this is my job. He's got my job. It's like, yeah, this guy's purple. Whatever. <sighs> hey, that was good. I, I miss David Tennant. As, uh, I miss David Tennant as anything. Getting more stuff, David Tennant. It's not on BBC. Oh, Jamie's supposed to wear her Impossible Girl shirt, which she can wear today. What? Impossible Girl. Were you watching Doctor Who? <laughs> well, she did buy this shirt. <laughs> what? Say classy, guys. Fin Fang Foom. We love you.